Hello Ooh. and welcome back. This is Nerd Dragon eighty eight here. I'm joined by my parents, uh, Father of Dragons, greetings, and Mother of Dragons. Hello. You'll probably hear me referring to them as Mom and Dad. We are playing Civilization Four: Beyond the Sword. Still, um, I am playing as the Americans. Because the personality traits of Roosevelt seemed like they were the closest to my play style with the Hive of Alpha Centauri. Which is going to be the next series after this too. Uh, Mother of Dragons, would you like to care to explain your reasons for your nation choice and your nation? Well, I chose Hot Shepsut, partly because I rather like playing her, and partly because it seemed to me that she was closest in personality to Deirdre of the Gaians on Alpha Centauri, which is my preferred character for that game. I really like being able to convert mind worms. And father? I chose Peter because historically he was the one who brought the knowledge being developed into the by the West into Russia and used it to greatly expand and enlighten his nation. And I see that as being similar to the role of the university in the Alpha Centauri setting. <sighs> yep. yep. I should remove that marker. So I do have my first worker, which is now building a road to cows. And I established the romping grounds. Oh my goodness. There, there's a... a a missionary just arrived in Thebes. Indeed. Can I put you are system? about to have your civilization enhanced by religion. Eh. <laughs> you seem a bit ungrateful. But religion will help you keep your citizens happy, and it provides tangible benefits if it becomes your state religion. Cities will be able to build buildings faster if they participate in your state religion, for one thing. Uh, Quite a bit faster. Organize religion, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> wish this game allowed us the Egyptian version of polytheism. Well, in Civilization VI, you can design your own religion. Oh, good. For the first part of the game. But then they wimp out and use the standard religions of the world for the rest of the game. Ridiculous. And Building so your own religion is both very ancient and totally newfangled. Um, Civ 5, you can technically build your civilization all the way through. Or, sorry, build your religion all the way through. It just, you have specific bonuses that it grants. Alright, are we ready to go onward? Um, 
Probably. Probably. Oh, Oops, scouts. scouts. Go see if there's a northwest, northwest passage. passage. Actually, there's a spot there, there that I could have explored. Oh well. In a few turns, I'll. In four turns, I'll have cows. Okay. Oh. I still I need to plan a lot of northern, northern cities. cities. Yeah, I'm of course. course. Right where, where a good city would be is a mountain. Of course. Because, you Natural. know... The world does not shape itself to suit you unless you've developed the bulldozer. Uh, even then. Yeah. I'm waffling. Which in this game is called construction. Right. I'm waffling about whether to place a second city inland to the east of Thebes in a very easily accessible spot, or whether I should take it all the way over to the coast. So that I can develop coastal stuff more, too. You have a you lot of desert. desert. Yes, I do. So much desert. desert. So much desert. Well, you know, Egypt. <laughs> How strangely, strangely appropriate. appropriate. Although Judaism Egypt has was... spread. Would I like it to be my state religion? But your capital city is on a major river. Also appropriate. Yes. Most of ancient Europe wasn't as much sand issues. Yeah, for some reason I'm Jewish. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Oh, next turn we'll have ironworking. Court. I guess that makes sense too. There's suddenly iron within reach of that coastal place. Makes it a little more desirable. Yep. yep. Oh, Ooh. you can pick up could theology. Pick up theology. Which, which would give you Christianity. Christianity. I don't know I don't if you, know want, you that, want that, but, but it's, there. it's there. Um, I have biases that influence my gameplay. I never <laughs> research theology. <laughs> I do. Hagia Sophia. Yeah. Well. It also it will slow down time. time. Alrighty then. Also, it didn't seem to really announce it, but we got the Stonehenge, darling. Yeah, yeah it, it, announced it announced on my screen. screen. Last, Last episode. episode. Maybe that was when I was out of the room. Well, with Stonehenge, it must be time to expand. <laughs> Except you've already started. <laughs> well, Hot Shepson, of course I have to expand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump onto Monarchy. You have discovered iron working. I'll join you there after literature, okay? Okay, I was thinking about helping out. Actually, I think I'll jump onto horseback riding for right now to make that go faster. Monarchy will do you more good, I think. With the wine Horseback riding will do you more good. And I'm a team player. Holy camole. So maybe in eight turns we can all go to monarchy. That'd make That'd it go by very quickly. quickly. Yes, it would. 
Okay, my, okay, my second, second set of set archers. archers. I'm going to send them to... to... Oh! Oh, oh, oh ow. Yeah. Okay. okay. You remember that, remember that spot, spot that was just north of that corn where, where I put the layer? Yeah. There's, There's iron, iron in the same, same tile. tile. So the iron popped up under your city? Yes. yes. Happens. Which means that the city automatically gets the iron. But it also means I can't develop it for that extra oomph of production. I just take the iron and run with it. Yeah. I was just hoping for more production. Oh well. Um, Does it affect the usefulness of your forge? No. No. Well, that's too bad. Well, okay. Well, okay. In a way, it does, because, because the forge, forge increases, increases your, your current production. production. So whatever your current production is, it then adds that much more based on a percentage. Ow. What was that? That was me accidentally uh, flipping one of the uh, pullouts. Mm. Cutting boards. That are not, thank you very much for cutting. They're not really cutting boards, they're extra table services. That is a very grand highway. Which one? The Great Continental Highway between the two capitals. Ah. I would even call it a capital highway. Mm. Such a capital idea. Yep. My archers are behind as far as protecting my dudes go, though. And yes, bad puns are necessary. Must have the bad puns. <laughs> Copper Going up there. You protect these dudes a little better than from an extra square away. They, help. they protect them better if they're actually on the. But then I can't see them. Lions, Lions are, are running, running away from my scouts. Red. They got the memo. Control. So many planned Plain cities. cities. And so many unplanned, unplanned cities. cities. My entire northern, northern side is unplanned. Planned. I think I got my southern, southern part all planned. planned. Which admittedly has more, more good ghost. Okay, I'm looking at going for these horses and pigs, but I will go no farther west than that. Get the copper and the sheep and the iron. Ping, please. What did you say? You, you were talking about horses, and it sounded like iron. I was talking to Chris about that I'm planning on a city to my west, which I don't want to impinge too closely on him. So it's the one city that I'm planning to the west of Thebes. He's okay. got Copper Town planned out to the southwest of that, and I placed the, my marker so it doesn't interfere. But I'm also thinking that west of Thebes, north of the lake, are iron and weed and cows and wheat and so on, and that basically west of the little mountain ridge next to the cows would be his. Yeah. So you so could base you could put the city 
Or here. God, that noise is very loud. Well, I'm not going to put it right on top of the pigs. Yeah. Well, you can put it in any three of those squares and be able to get the horses. Yes. Those are more defensible. Yeah. So if you're worried about, like, encringing upon him, I, I could maybe suggest a spot that's, like, right below the pigs. What do you think, Jared? Do you care? Uh, is there any land to, immediately to the west that would be... Uh, forest, it would be. Hill. It would still be hard to put a city between Copperton and that city. I don't think... Or any better she went north of it. I think the spot you have marked is just fine. Okay. Okay. So, going back to my scout. Um, what are you doing, scout? You were chasing after lions. I thought it was supposed to be the other way around. I was trying to keep an eye on the lions. In Peter's Russia, the lions chase after you. <laughs> okay, go ahead and heal up. Well, the Rumping Grounds have now expanded. So do I have any more black spots on my continent? Okay, so I do not actually, actually have any black have spots, spots on the main continent itself. itself. Just kind of off the, to, on the islands off the coast. coast. So. That and Pete on this. Let's... By one square. Let's... With that one word, unless. <laughs> <laughs> so look at me, dear. Because of there. It does not get me any of that deer. Or that, or that copper. copper. And I might have to put a, a few cities up in my frozen area that we're not going to do very well. Well, horseback riding in one turn. Yay. Yep. Oh, oh, and it'll be that way if, whether I'm helping or not. Um, oh, we're also going to want to get the Oracle. Huh. Okay. okay. Okay, so from here, you have discovered seen. horseback riding. You have discovered horseback riding. Wait. Wait. Where the heck are my workers? Oh, what the heck? 
I don't know where first thing workers went. Um, well, Big Grand has been founded. Trying to work on Dragon Tool. I am somehow missing a worker. I don't know where they were. Oh, there they are. Okay. I did not see them in the forest. Okay. That's a bit of tension alleviated. I need you to build road to build it here. Um, Fortify. It's a whole more than reaches that I'm uncertain about on how to handle. At this point, you have discovered literature. Yay, Yay literature. literature! I'm working on discovering the priesthood. I thought you were going to work on monarchy. I was. I started on the priesthood because of the oracle. Ah. And it was only going to take five turns. Okay. And then I'll be jumping, be jumping on the um, monarchy bandwagon. It, I'm Egypt. Should I build the pyramids? <laughs> you could. I'm planning on building the Great Lighthouse, uh, Great Lighthouse and the Colossus. We have discovered literature. Yes, yes, we have discovered, we have discovered literature. literature. Amazing. Amazing, Amazing reading. reading. Okay. Uh, Sorry, we're going to have to do this again. Okay. Nerd Dragon Original. You mean I can preserve my knowledge on sheepskin? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh, uh, well, well, yeah, yeah before, before we had to use these clay tablet things, things for, for keeping track, track of everything. Of everything. And, and, and actually, actually yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're still, still using, using clay, clay tablets. tablets. I do not believe that Russia uses clay tablets. Stone tablets? Hey, hey. the cave is started on an archer. archer. It's going to take over 20 turns to do, but it started on it. Fortify. Okay. I'm going to look at you guys' stuff. That is one good road. St. Petersburg. Just not quite on the coast. 
I've discovered human barbarians. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Fortunately, my archers are right there. That means we have to step, step up, up all of our, our military, military by a lot. lot. My city is big enough that it's unhappy. Ooh, milestone. Yes. It's too crowded. Mine's exactly what they're whining about. And my, my city's, city's not, not growing. growing. But we don't have priesthood, so I can't build temples. But Nerd Dragon is working on that part. And it's almost done. Yep. yep. I, I can lose to production to then gain a bunch of food to try to get more production. I think I'm going to have to try to do that. Yikes! It's not going to change my forge or my archers, but it's going to change my barracks. Oh, we fought off the first human barbarians. I have discovered priesthood. So, after, after Dragon's Hold is done with its forge, forge I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna build a barracks, and then it's gonna just start pumping out archers left and right. And then if they start getting into trouble, swordsmen. Actually, I'm probably gonna build a few swordsmen too. In fact, I should, I should set these up. Oh, but I can't set that up yet. I was going to say, I should add it every other turn. Or every other item. To build the swordsman. But I can't do that. Alright, I have some horse archers. Good! And we're all working on monarchy. And I don't know how long I'm going to be able to maintain this research speed. But sadly, the militarization time is now. So much militarization that has to happen. Okay, so Romping Ground has, has just a scout. scout. I have yeah, no choice. I'm going to have to send them a thing of our church. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to squeak list. some archers in ahead of the pyramids. Maybe some uh, axemen as well. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave, leave my capital defenseless. Until I, I get, get that next, next set of our church done. Where the Heliopolis. Oh. oh! I sent the archer, archer away, and now I have three and a half Yep. And that'll get worse with monarchy. Monarchy, they like troops. Yeah. yeah. As soon as I'm done with the barracks, though, I can get another archer built. Nope. Why did you send the archer away? Because there's another city that is going to be in more dire need. Ah. Uh. It only has a scout for defense, and it's far away from the capital. Well, scouts are pretty good at defense. Not as good as archers, of course. They'll do against a warrior.
most of the time. It's already going to take 15 more turns before that archer can get down there. So that slow speed kind of indicates the reason why I have to do it now. There's that city there, which also doesn't have archers. Oh, but it's building an archer. Okay. Because once, once I get, I get the barracks done, done, I can start so pumping out good, good archers, archers, which get a, a big bonus, bonus to defending cities. cities. Alright. All right. <sighs> so we've so seen the first seen of the human bar. Okay. okay. They've seen the first of the human barbarians. I am now ramping up for defense. Will my defense be effective? Will their defenses be effective? We'll see. Possibly next time. Uh, if you like our gameplay, hit the like button. Please leave comments down below letting us know what you think about our current strategies and my sudden panic about human barbarians. Uh, if you want to help support us make more of these, hit the subscribe button if you want to be informed about when all these come out. After you've subscribed, hit the noodler bell. And that'll let you know whenever a video comes out on the channel. It'll also let you know when I'm doing my live stream. So, uh, till next time, be awesome to each other.